Mm. In 2018, during the closing ceremony of the Acholi Culture Festival, the then Deputy Chief Justice Alphonse Owenidolo expressed concern that the meaning of traditional marriage in Acholi had lost value due to a viral trend in which a man is invoiced heavily by his in-laws to be before being offered a woman. Now, the cultural institution of Acholi has passed a new bylaw on bride price. The cultural leaders say the exorbitant request had caused many young people to shun marriage and instead opt for cohabitation. When you look at our marriage now, and by the time I was growing up, when my sisters, elder sisters were married and so on, it is unfortunate. The money economy has come and is changing a lot of things. People who have money think they now can drive or every kind of agenda, social agenda. The cultural leaders say the exorbitant request had caused many young people to shun marriage and instead opt for cohabitation. So many young people are not at all trying to get married because they just know they don't have what it takes by current standards. They're just not reaching there. And to many who galvanize the courage to go and marry, it has become a permanent issue in their marriage after they got married. With the magnitude of the outcry and fear for cultural extinction, many elders believe that the bylaw has come in handy. The bylaw states that the parents of the girl should not demand for bride price. That is over 5 million Uganda shillings. So it left room still for you to negotiate. You can marry at 1 million, you can marry at 2 million, you can marry at 3 million. But going to 5 million, then you are becoming irrational. If you insist on giving it as the bridegroom, then you give it as a gift, not as a marriage article. Some feel that it's rather late for the cultural institution to present the bylaw. The new actually is now emerging, you know, where people are doing interracial marriages, intertribal marriages. So they're moving away from these norms and thinking they can do marriages their way. And if they have put right wealth or marriage to something like a hundred thousand shillings, that is 50 52 of them, they will not still marry. Um, I think it's basically the mindset, or there are others who are just irresponsible. The reality is for Keika Akwar to give you a certificate, one of their members, either from your clan, must have attended, must have been in attendance. Of, of, of the marriage negotiation processes to say this is legitimately what we call uh, a traditional marriage in the Chile context. Arthur Owar, the director of the Center for African Research, says the simplification of traditional marriage will make it easy for couples to separate. Because uh, going by the standards used to be, it used to be set in the sense that it self-regulates itself. The, there is a bar that is reached where it's almost difficult for you to come out of it. But where we're now going, it's very easy to get into and by the same, same token, it's easy to move out. According to the new regulations, where one seeks to marry a naturally lady, the groom will be required to provide a lamp, paraffin, laundry and bathing soap, a box of matches, one big saucepan, a stool and a suit for his father-in-law, a gomesi for his mother-in-law, cigarettes, one got for his bride's uncle, one got for her paternal aunt, a fee for the bride to open up, and one got for preparing the marital home. Other requirements include facilitation for the marriage committee, six goats for dowry, six cows for dowry, and money that is between three million to five million shillings. However, in case a lady comes from a royal family, then a man is expected to deliver a leopard skin, a bango, and beads. Also, if the woman had an abnormal birth, the family of the groom is expected to take a ship and a white hen for marital rituals.